Hello guys! Today we'll be painting an eye and talking about art and age. Since I've already discussed the way I paint eyes in my previous videos, I've decided to take a theme that is not related to what I show. There are many beliefs about art. At what age an artist should start? Who can be called a real artist? And of course, the talent myth. Honestly, I hate that the things stop people from creating art. I believe that all of this don't matter as much as the passion and love that you put into what you do. I've chosen the age theme for this video because recently I got a lot of messages asking if it's possible to become an artist at a certain age. Here is my answer. You can become an artist at any age. Probably it can be the end of this video, but since the painting is not ready, we can discuss the theme in detail. I can name a bunch of artists who started their art career pretty late. From Paul Gauguin, who started at 35, to Anna Mary and Moses. She started her successful art career at 78. Her story is unique. At first, she was selling paintings for 3 to 5 bucks. And eventually, the prices raised up to $10,000 per painting. She was at the cover of Time magazine, got an award from the hands of the president, and the documentary about her life was nominated for an Academy Award. She made it to the history of art. And all of this started to happen when she was almost 80. So yes, you can become an artist at any age. The only thing that you need to have is the ability to accept failures. Usually, the older we become, the less we do things that we are not familiar with. So, fails become less common and more likely to be perceived as something serious. It affects both what we think about ourselves and how we look at other people. It is assumed that by a certain age, if you do something, you should do that at least not bad. Most of the people who want to create art give up because of the pressure. The pressure that they put on themselves and the feedback from other people. So if you want to become an artist at any age, don't expect a lot from yourself. Be patient. And don't think that what others say about your abilities and perspectives means anything. It's not. No one knows what's going to happen and how good you will eventually become. You need to remember that failure doesn't say anything to you. For example, you didn't create the painting that you've imagined. It doesn't mean anything, except for the fact that right now you don't have enough experience to paint what you wanted to. You need more practice and that's it. I was horrible at riding bicycles. I couldn't drive a meter without falling and my knees and elbows were in bruises. My father even gave up trying to teach me. And for some reason the idea that I'm not talented enough for a bicycle never appeared in my head. I kept trying and eventually I understood how to keep balance and write. Patience and practice are everything in art. The skills that will give you the ability to create beautiful portraits or landscapes are accumulated by years. Your first portrait will be a disaster. Your hundredth one will definitely be better. In art, we are talking about years of working, rather than weeks or months. So don't rush and don't wait for a masterpiece straight away. I've started to create art at 19, and even at that time I was already asking myself if I was too old to become an artist. Right now I understand how ridiculous it was, but at that moment I wasn't sure if it was even possible. Because everyone around me had a belief that if you can be an artist, your predisposition will occur at a young age. In Russia, where I live, children start to go to an art school at around 10 and spend there from 5 to 8 years. And they prepare for drawing and painting exams to apply to university. That was the usual scheme. And there was I, 19 years old with zero experience in art. I was describing my story in the previous video and briefly said it was a long one. But I was too stubborn to give up. And I'm so grateful to myself for that. The years have passed, but I still fail a lot. And I look at other artists and feel that I'm not talented enough. My ideas and techniques are weak, and they will never be as good as someone else's. But I got used to that. I tell myself, if you want to feel sorry for yourself, do that. But then pull yourself together and keep working. 
I know people who stopped creating art or never start because they are too old for that, and they feel sad about that. I don't think that you should limit yourself because of the number of days that passed from your birth. I believe that the older you are, the more you can say with your art. You have more experience, you've seen more, and you have something to discuss. I can't say that becoming an artist won't be difficult, and it doesn't matter at what age you'll start. As I said in the previous video, it takes time, it takes effort and dedication, especially for those who start from nothing as I did. You can say that Grandma Moses was lucky, because an art collector saw her painting in the window of a drugstore and made everything to include her artworks in the exhibition. Yes, the chances that this kind of a happy coincidence will happen to you is pretty low. However, if she didn't create art or if she was too shy to show it, all of that wouldn't have happened to her. You can do something and fail, then repeat that and fail again and one day you'll have a success. The word success means different things for every artist. It can be a painting that you'll be proud of, your first sale or exhibition. The life of an artist is full of big failures and small successes. But that's how it is. Or you have a different option. You can say, I'm too old for being an artist, and fail without even trying. Also, with all of their talks about success, achievements, money and time, we shouldn't forget that art makes life better. And we all know that life can be hard, and creating your own images is a therapy. I believe that art is a safe place where people can find friends, inspiration and recharge themselves. I don't want to see art as a place for elites, the chosen ones. It's my opinion and I know that not everyone will agree. And that's fine. I hope that I'll be able to make this channel a place for education, inspiration and support. And I'll be happy if you'll help me with that. So don't forget to leave a like or a comment. It will say to YouTube that this video was useful and it will show it to more people. More of my demonstration videos and tutorials you can find on my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you soon.